Hi everyone, this is Keith Reid on the 4th of October 2016. Um, it's still all about the fish. Uh, and look, we've still got the Cardinals up in here, the Harlequin Rasporas, the Ember Tetras, and Larry the Loach will be in the area. There he is, at the back there, thrashing about eating slime. Um, you can see that they're a lot more chilled out. Uh, they've got this wider sort of dispersal pattern. And as I've said, that was probably because last uh, on the first, my last video, um, we ended up having the lights on, which kind of freaked them out. These are brightly coloured fish so they can see each other, as you know, in the dark waters of the Orinco uh, and Rio Negro. Uh, that's certainly true of the South American, um, the Tetras. Uh, but anyway, they don't like bright light. Anyway. Now, the exciting thing today is, as promised, and I'd like to thank both of my subscribers, um, <laughs> uh, I promised to have a little chat about gravel cleaning with particular reference to the relevant mathematics. So, here we have the hagen poisson equation. That's something like H-A-G-E-N. P O I S E U I L L E. It's on Wikipedia. Um, the terms here are eight, the well known number, uh, mu, which is viscosity, L, which is length, Q, which is the uh, volumetric flow, so that's like cubic meters of water per second, delta P, which is all one thing, that's the difference in pressure between the two ends of your tube. Little crash in the background there. That's the constant pi, which is, uh, as you know, the ratio between any circle and its diameter. And this is r, the radius of your tube. Uh, and in here, uh, r is to the power of four. Now that's really the important message. Um, x to the power of one is a lot smaller than x to the power of four. So if you take one and times it by itself, and then by itself, and then by itself, it's still one. If you take two, as x and times it by itself, that's squared, it's 4 and then 8 and then 16 and if you take 3 to the power of 4 it's 81 and that's a lot more than 1 um, and that's just by increasing the radius of your tube three times. So my original tube was this one which, gosh, you know, back of an envelope I'd say the radius was about half a centimetre and this tube here um, has got a much larger radius, gosh, I would say possibly 1.5, which is about 81 times as much in the flow. And that's what I was talking about when I said that the wider aperture of my new tube was a lot better. Now, I did have some practical demonstrations of gravel cleaning involving a setup uh, with buckets, um, a pipe, uh, all sorts of other stuff um, but basically I ended up with gravel in my mouth and spilling water everywhere and I couldn't set it up properly so uh, we're keeping it kind of more abstract uh, and maths based today um, as usual comment subscribe uh, rate me uh, I realize this is quite a dry subject I'm trying to kind of embrace the tedium a little bit um, that's the vision of this channel um, okay